Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. In this session, I want to talk about using virtual reality to support students with special needs. Several years ago, I stood on a school playground watching boys huddled around a device called the Viewmaster. As you clicked on the mechanical device, the images would move to tell the story. I had to pay for my turn, of course. And the reality is when it came for my turn, I had to pay with my lunch money to have that view. During my view, I remembered seeing Spider-Man and Superman heading towards Earth to save the day. It was amazing to see these images. I was somewhat immersed in it all. No one had the idea that the world would drastically change a few decades later with the arrival of a similar device that would digitize images and place users in a 360 degree virtual reality encounter. Today, companies like Microsoft, Google, Facebook have spent and continue to spend billions of dollars on virtual reality. This technology is now used by several sectors. Recently, I stated at a keynote presentation that educational technologies will continue to change and be influenced by other sectors. One such sector is the gaming industry. The reality is that the gaming industry is evolving and driving the development of virtual reality across the globe. This global effort has found traction in education. Today, institutions can now bring virtual reality into schools to improve students' learning in science and other subjects. On reflection, virtual reality has much to offer and will go beyond the traditional teaching approaches. The utilization of virtual reality in lessons can provide a safe sensory and friendly environment that allow teachers to tailor lessons for students with special needs. For example, deploying virtual reality to students with autism can provide a sensory friendly environment leading to these students to maintain their engagement in the virtual reality encounter. Furthermore, these students will also be given the opportunities to practice social situations which will empower them to engage positively in their social engagements. The most powerful aspects of VR for students with autism is that VR allows them to engage in a risk-free environment. In summary, virtual reality has the potential to improve academic performance and social interactions for students with ASD. Another advantage of virtual reality in education is that students can use the technology to connect with their peers as they study. COVID-19 has provided this needed pathway for interaction for students who are somewhat isolated. In addition, based on the design of virtual reality, students can learn at their own pace. In addition, teachers can create a personalized learning pathway for students. Let me reflect a bit. Educators can also help their students connect within a learning community where they can help each other. So I think there are some great movements for virtual reality. For students and people with physical disabilities who are restricted in their movements, virtual reality can offer experiences that were previously unattainable. For example, a person using a wheelchair could learn to perform various tasks in a standing position. Let me also say that virtual reality can help people with special needs experience things that they could only imagine by giving them the opportunity to navigate the virtual world without restrictions. Oftentimes, students are unable to travel or go on field trips because of their physical disabilities or their medical needs. As a result, these individuals may have been excluded in the past from going on these field trips, right? The inclusion of virtual reality technology can allow these individuals now to engage in virtual field trips. I heard of a class going on a field trip and one individual in that class had a disability. As a result, the individual could not travel. So, the class that attended live streamed the event in virtual reality to ensure that the individual with a physical need or disability would be included. Let me also say that virtual reality can also help create empathy for people with disabilities by helping others experience the disabilities within a simulated environment. These experiences have proven to be life-changing for many. Let me also bring to light the issue of rehabilitation. If a student or adult needs to be engage in rehabilitation, virtual reality can create the space and the control needed. In other words, these students or individuals will be able to practice and develop mastery. Mastering various skills can also lead to enhanced self-esteem. 
In our contemporary learning spaces, there are so many distractions. These distractions can lead to students being off task. With a virtual reality environment, these distractions are limited. In the virtual reality environment, the headset covers the face and as a result, the user is placed in an immersive environment where attention is focused and sustained. As a result, this will be ideal for students or people with ADHD. However, let me also say that not all VR engagements are equal. Therefore, there must be quality in the design of the VR engagement. Overall, virtual reality has a potential to transform students' experience during the learning process. For example, concepts can be broken down so that students can foster greater understanding of what is being taught. Let us not forget that VR also motivates the learners. My prediction is that virtual reality will become a mainstay. I wonder if it is too early to say that the next learning space will be virtual reality. Please do not be left behind this experience. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share and like and embed for others to learn more about virtual reality.